Hey, this is Shannon. Remember, before we dive in, if you like content like this or my posts on social media like Facebook and Twitter, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. You can also check out my website, shannonbag.wixsite.com slash mbrs for my customized readings. You can check out my custom products where I make four leaf clover bookmarks and money art as well as my shop where I already have money art displayed, my recycled rugs, and other cool items. So let's get started into this video. Good afternoon, how are you? We just need a warm body at this point. We don't have the manpower to do anything and we need help. Hi, good afternoon, great, how are you? Yes, I'm only here because I need to make approximately $5,000 a month to afford my basic necessities. Are you able to do that? I'm fantastic. So question, what would you say drives you? What motivates you? What are some of your strengths and weaknesses? We expect you to go above and beyond while you're here and not complain about it. And if you have an issue, just deal with it. No one has time for a whiny attitude. Oh wow, what a great question. Motivation is a big driver for me, just knowing I have hustle. I'm great at multitasking, and for my weaknesses, I would probably say that I work too hard. Money. I need money. I need to get paid to pay my bills. Martha, I am struggling constantly on the verge of homelessness. What are we here for? A cup of tea? I suck at multitasking. I'm even worse about getting out of bed in the morning because of my severely undiagnosed depression. Be Martha, I need money. We do offer a competitive bonus every month that all our team stays excited about. We don't offer insurance, 401k, or even a base salary. You'll have to work off tips and commission, and you're competing against all your other coworkers for the one and only bonus that we have, so we encourage them to backstab and only think for themselves and circumvent. You're getting the bonus because they're all competing for the same bonus that we offer here, which is just a crusty slice of pizza that Marty will probably eat because he thought that it was his pizza from last week because it was. That's wonderful! I am not trying to be competitive at work. Martha, do you even know the definition of quiet quitting? It means that you're lucky that I'm even here in this office doing an interview with you. It's only out of sheer basic necessity that I am even here right now. This is a fast-paced work environment. How would you say that you cope under stress? This job is going to drain you. Every ounce of energy you have. Are you prepared for that? Are you prepared to go home and question all of your life choices while you eat takeout because it's the only thing open when you get off? You have to come back in like six hours if you're lucky. Are you prepared not to have any free time? Ready to never have a social life ever again? I'm very good at stress management. Time management, too. What's your team like, if you don't mind me asking? If you're able to provide the basics, like a 401k or pension, sick leave, PTO, vacations, federal holidays, if you can give me that and the bare minimum it takes to live day to day in this world, I can handle most stress. However... If I'm not taken care of by the company, then over time I may burn out and eventually have a breakdown at work and no one wants that. But I would be dedicating 40 to 60 hours a week of my life to this company. Out of the 168 hours that I have, 56 of those hours a medical professional told me I need to use for sleep, which only would leave me a remaining 52 to 72 hours during the week to do chores exercise, errands, etc. If you give me the appropriate lifestyle, then I'm gonna be a great worker. If you're gonna take care of me, then great. Uh, my stress is level is perfect, but if 
none of this is the case, then you're looking at a future burnout employee. We have a diverse team. How well do you say that you get along with others? Everyone here gets on each other's nerves. No one agrees on anything. Marsha is a gossip. Oh my god. Hey girl, did you hear about it? Oh, I have to pull up a chair and tell you what just happened. So, oh my god, I have got to tell you all about what happened last weekend with you know who. She got so drunk, girl. I got a video on my phone. You want me to play it for you? It's so it's so funny. Aaron was there, the guy that used to work here. He started working at a whole other company just like this and I know that he's stealing trade secrets and giving it to them. Y'all need to do something about that, girl. You gotta get on that. But yeah, isn't that like a breach or something of the contract for working here? It's like you can't take this stuff to other places because that's what he's doing. You know Aaron's doing that. Anthony is always late. Look, look, I'm here. I'm here, okay? I just overslept. Brooke can't stay off of her phone. What? I'm working. Bailey is too old to care, and Martha, I'm getting too old for this shit. Antonio doesn't speak the language, and Hola. Mark is the manager that you won't be able to get a hold of in case of emergency. Understand that at that point, I needed those documents because I've got. You have no idea, Judy. You. Yo, give me a minute. But Cheryl's pretty nice, though. Cheryl's nice. We all like Cheryl. Hi. Would you like some coffee? I don't mean to bother you guys. Great, I am very much a people person. I tolerate others. Do what needs to be done, because I need to do it, because it sounds like that's all this job can offer me, is the ability to tolerate it. I will tolerate you. I have really enjoyed speaking with you, Hannah. How about we move to the next phase of the application process? All right. Now, it will take an additional month to hire you. We have to secure every piece of information about you and completely invade your privacy to utterly judge you on your past, to scrutinize your present. We'll do a background check because for some reason, criminal record somehow matches your work ethic. A credit check because we've all collectively decided that as an employer, we need to know how you're going to spend the money that we pay you. A drug test because we don't trust society to enjoy themselves whatsoever at work even though we all know synthetic urine is a thing and that m the most of the population uses it to pass all of this nonsense and we know that but we still have to do all of it because that's just corporate absolutely this is about to be a round of tests and questions about my social media and if they can contact my references I'm so over businesses trying to be a part of my social life. Don't use my image. Don't post my pictures on your company website. Oh, are you able to lift 25 pounds or more? And a physical because our job is too strenuous for the average person, even though we could offer you help and lighten your load by using the appropriate amount of people for the job, but instead we're only going to pay you and we expect you to do the work of three people. A big part of what I do requires funding. That's why I sell products online, I book readings, and I ask for donations from lovely people like you. If you do enjoy my stuff, you can go to PayPal and send shannonbag at gmail.com. You can do Cash App, Cash Tag Shay, K-M-B, S-H-A-Y-K-M-B. Or on my Patreon, which is Shannonbag MBR. You can follow me on Reddit and Pinterest and Instagram as well among I have 16 social media platforms I'm sure you can find me somewhere thanks for watching